Right, so I'm gonna go through this from the beginning. Boom. So I've been going crazy building these space echo models of late, which will drive either an iridium or an iridium, a plethora or the stone. And I've had a real problem getting this to change basically the BPM that's being sent. You can see, you go in here, click, you've got in the beginning here tempos that you can set. So this one's set to 60. And I've set this to display, so it will display the one that's coming next. It goes from 60 to 45 to 200. And I think this one is 120 or something like that. 200 again. Random numbers, this doesn't have to make actual sense. To change that, you'd normally just go in here and you'd have all the info you can put in. So, you know, you can put in your name, whatever keywords you want. Super fast. Put in the key, put in the capo, put in the tempo, time signatures, subdivisions, you can do all that stuff in there and save it. But to get this thing to work with the Helix, I had a hell of a time, so I'm making a bit to show you. Click on the wheelie thing, go into settings, go to MIDI settings, MIDI enabled, destinations you would be putting in your Helix if you're doing this over regular USB. Um, you could do it over wireless, I suppose, but you don't want to have too much messing with clocks. And I was really messing with clocks. Apparently, you don't have to do that. So, there's a way to toggle clocks on and off in this setting that you can do from a button. There's a lot of things you can do, but the simplest way I've found is this. Turn off everything. Your sync, go to tap. Go to your channel of your Helix. I have my floor on 13 and hit this little wrench thing down at the bottom. This comes up with MIDI commands now. You can do variations of multiple commands and you're doing MSB, LSB and all this stuff and the binary, it, it, it's a mess. For the Helix it's easy. Put in the regular CC command, CC64 and 127. Anywhere from 64 to 127 on channel 64 for the MIDI CC. Controls tap tempo, just as if you were smacking away at the tap tempo thing on your floor. What happens is when you go and change channels, now when you change pages, and this is going backwards from 245, whatever. What this thing is doing is sending out on channel 13 to my Helix ACC64, and it's ramping up slowly, so it's basically I don't know, sending out one cc every few seconds, and it keeps doing it. I think it's one every two seconds or something like that, instead of a constant stream. I think it's quite nice because it slowly ramps up. Now, whilst you're using Onsong in that way, it will just continually send out the tap tempo in the usual way that a tap tempo works. Like I've set this up to be a proper tap tempo on this little model here. As you can see they're named in there. Same exact thing. That's the command that fires it out. So that was about the simplest way I could find to do this and it will maintain your tap tempo. And if you have a problem with the laptop, you don't have to go and change sync. You don't have to set this to accept external sync or turn on and off clocks or do anything. So hopefully that helps. You know, there may be better ways to do this, but I think the far least headache one is this, and that will work out nicely and slowly ramp up. It's not gonna be this massive jump. If you want a massive jump, then maybe you wanna look into sending the BPM in as an external MIDI clock, which you can turn on and off, and you can even turn that on and off over time, and the Helix would hopefully hold to that, and you wouldn't have to lock into 
sending it and that would work well over wireless. These guys advised not to try this over wireless too much, but that was back in the day when we were on Bluetooth 4. Bluetooth 5 seems to really hold up, so I would certainly try it, but I hope that's helpful. Have a great day everyone.